In this episode, I will discuss legendary Westside Crip, Stanley Tookie Williams. Tookie was born December 29, 1953 in Louisiana. Some years later, Tookie and his mama moved to Los Angeles, the west side of South Central to be exact. In Tookie's early childhood in South Central, he would experience and see a lot of things like drinking, gambling, addiction, and a lot of violence. With his mom working several jobs to support the family, he would start to participate in things going on in his neighborhood. And this is what made him tough and learn how to fight early. Around the mid and late 60s, crime was on the rise in urban communities. Many small neighborhood gangs started to turn up during this time period. The Black Panthers became established and became a powerful movement, giving African American structure and a sense of power and identity. The Black Panthers started branches all over the country from California to New York. With the Black Panthers dying out from corruption from the man, many young African-American men started new gangs, which by 1969 would start the formation of the Crips in Los Angeles. By this time, Tookie in the late 60s began to make a name for himself in the streets. Tookie had a major following on the west side of South Central. In the late 60s, Tookie ran with other future Crips like Donald Archie, Bub, Mad Dog, and several others. During this time period, Tookie began to get in a lot of trouble, having several fights and getting kicked out of school. He had several stints in juvenile hall, from fighting and stealing cars. In jail, Tookie began to lift weights and become physically stronger and bigger. Upon being released from jail, Tookie met with another major figure, but from the east side of South Central named Raymond Washington. Upon this meeting, the two men decided to join forces and their crews becoming allies. The East Side Crips headed by Raymond Washington and the West Side led by figures like Tookie. The Crips would gain a following and start to recruit more and more, bringing more gangs into the Crip Alliance, even spread into different cities in LA County. But many gangs didn't join Crips and those would become fierce rivals. Some of the early rivals would be the Chain Gang, the Brims, and the Compton Power Rules with Mac Thomas being the leader in Compton for the Crips. The blue rag was said to be first worn by a Crip and close friend of Tookie named Buddha. So with him losing his life in 1973, the Crips started to rep for him, taking the blue rag as a tribute to him and the color blue after color of choice later on. By 1974, Raymond Washington was sent to prison for a five-year bid. Tookie later moved to Compton, where he became a youth counselor and looked up for several young Crips being like a big brother and authority figure to them. While living in Compton, Tookie was shot by rivals, causing him needing physical therapy. This caused him to redevelop past addictions, causing his life to later spiral, especially with personal reasons, beginning with the loss of his grandmother, losing his counseling job, and also being denied chances to compete in bodybuilding contests with his reputation of being a gang leader. Tookie began to dive deeper in the streets and addiction. By 1979, many Crips would start to lose their lives, and several others go into prison. Crip leaders like Raymond Washington and Mac Thomas lost their lives during this time period. A lot of new Crip gangs would become established with the lack of leadership, and many prominent Crips not given structure and unity it once was. With this happening, many of the new sets would become rivals with other Crips and start new alliances within the Crip card. By 1981, Tookie was convicted of several robberies that ended with people losing their lives. It is said Tookie held up a 7-Eleven, taking the life of a clerk named Albert. The second crime committed, Tookie was said to held up a motel, taking cash from the register, and taking three lives. Tookie always pled his innocence, stating police framed him, also stating it wasn't a shred of evidence, including no fingerprints and a shell case of not matching his strap. Also, all African Americans were removed from being jurors in his trial. Tookie ended up being sentenced to death and put on death row. Tookie was sent to San Quentin to serve his sentence. Tookie would be a problem for the staff and other inmates during the 80s, being an enforcer and calling shots. In 88, he was stabbed by once friend Little Free from Roman 60s after allegedly Little Fee didn't do a task Tookie assigned to him. Little Fee got Tookie before Tookie got him. Tookie was later sent to solitary confinement, and after a few years, he would decide to change his ways. In 94, he was released from confinement, 
even though he found religion and started to change, he was denied an appeal. Tookie began writing several children's books, and in 96, his first of eight was published. Some of Tookie's books were about anti-violence and stopping banging, and also about the horrors of jail. 2002, Tookie was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. His change garnered many supporters and helped attribute to many people urging judges to consider giving him a life sentence instead of a death sentence, but the appeal was denied. In 2004, Tookie had another book published called Blue Rage, and his movie about his life was dropped starring Jamie Foxx playing him. In 2005, Tookie petitioned for clemency, but was denied by the governor, after the governor said forensic evidence still linked him to all the crimes. December 13, 2005, Tookie was executed. Even in this era, Tookie is still looked upon as a general and a leader and still talked about in a positive light by past friends and his community. Many looked at Tookie as a hero for his past reign in the streets, but Tookie became more than a street legend. He became an author, a man promoting peace, and trying to help the new generation not make his past mistakes. R.I.P. to Tookie. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, check out my previous videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.